Good morning everyone. In today's lesson we learn what is nominative, accusative, undative in a sentence. Let's see. Nominative. Nominative is the subject of the sentence. Subject of a sentence. Like the student learned Deutsch. In this, the student is a subject. Hence, nominative is the subject of the sentence. The, their student is a nominative. So, if the sentence has sein, werden, schein, heißen, bleiben, then the whole sentence is nominative. I'll explain you one more time. A nominative is the subject of the sentence. Normal sentence like the student learned Deutsch. In this, the student is nominative. And Deutsch is accusative. But if the sentence has these verbs, sein, werden, schein, and heißen, bleiben, then the whole sentence is nominative. That means sentence does not have any object. Like das is ein book. In this sentence, ein book is also nominative. Subject. So accusative. Accusative is the direct object of a sentence. So. Someone asks you what is accusative? Accusative is the direct object of the sentence. Hmm. We use the accusative after the specific verbs and the preposition. Certain after certain preposition we use only accusative and after certain verbs we use accusative. Ish habe einen Tisch. Like in this sentence. Is is the nominative subject of the sentence. And habe is the verb and einen Tisch is accusative. Object of the sentence. These prepositions are called accusative preposition. If we need to use any object after that, we will use only accusative. Like Dutch, Fjord, Gagan, Honor, Om, Bis, and Tla. Accusative preposition. After that, we will always use accusative. Like Er geht um den Tisch. He goes around the table. Um. Then teach accusative because the um is a accusative preposition. Dative. Dative is the indirect object of a sentence. There are certain verbs that take to give, to bring, to tell, and to buy, to send. When we use these verbs in German, and after that, if the person is come, then it's dative. Thing is come, then accusative. Let's see. Ish gebe. Gebe is the verb, and after that, is, if there is a person, then we use dative. If the thing, then we use accusative. Ish is always, subject is always nominative. So, nda, nominative, verb, you can see, therefore, and if we have a these verb in a sentence, like geben, bringen, erzalen, kaufen, and after that, if there is a person, then we Use dative thing, then we use accusative. Like, er schenkt mir ein Buch. Er is nominative here. Mir is dative. Nein Buch is accusative. Hmm. After some dative preposition, we always use dative. These are the preposition called dative preposition. Like, sie haben ein Geschenk von ihrem Vater bekommen. So, phone is a dative preposition. That's why here we use dative. After dative verbs. These verbs are called dative verbs. If we need to use any object after these verbs, normally a person, then we use dative. Like, ish helfe dear. So, dear is a dative because helfen is a dative verb. And if you see, mit is also dative preposition. And here also we use dative. So, you can easily recognize if the object is after the verb, then we check which verb is this. If the object is after the preposition, then we check which preposition is this. If, if we use dative preposition, we use dative. If we have accusative preposition, then we use accusative. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any doubt, any concern, just write us below. Have a nice day.